in the core of, of Gary's project lie the values of mutual respect, of diversity, of reconciliation, uh, social inclusion, coexistence, the same values on which EU policies are based. I often think of the EU as a government-like entity, but as a very secular and administrative entity. I don't think about the EU mixing up with these bigger chunks of what's a very vital part of most cultures, and that's religion, spirituality, social commitment. And I was more surprised that the European Union would connect that in any way and be behind it. So that did catch me off guard, in a good way. As our world gets more and more diverse, it's important to take a look at how religion might be a force for bringing people together. Religion plays an important role in all kinds of different spheres of, of society. It shapes how people view the world and how they interact with democratic processes. Being aware of all these realities and sensitivities makes us better, makes us more effective in our work, and it increases our empathy. This is an element so precious but often missing in international relations. I'm really pleased that the EU embarked on this initiative. Institutional movement can help to shape these perspectives. It's very powerful. The EU as a very highly sensitive institution or body or government that is actually concerned about bringing lasting peace to the world. Religious actors have a significant role to play in society and they already do. The problem is that they don't get the coverage that they deserve to be able to share the good news of the work that they're doing. Which is why I was so fascinated to join Jerus with its focus on media narratives and how we can shape and shift those. One of the results of this project is that participants come out of it with strong skills to communicate and present their work in a more expressive and clever way. One of my favorite um, capacity building workshop is a social media workshop. I've been using social media almost 10 years, but knowing the theory directly from the uh, expert, it's really, really helped me a lot uh, for my uh, daily activities. After the Juris Fellowship Program, I came back to New Zealand and launched the Youth Interfaith Body here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. My micro project was on strengthening multicultural youth actions to promote peace building and social cohesion in the northwest region of Cameroon. When I got back from the trip to South Africa, it all kept staying in my mind. And I ended up writing an article about the faith groups that we met there and their efforts against xenophobia. I think one of the great opportunities that the fellowship offered is the people that you meet and the connections that you make. Powerful conversations, powerful experiences, and the opportunity to really hear what's happening in other parts of the world. Being a part of Jerry's uh, is a really uh, beautiful experience for me because I had the opportunity to come across uh, another world. Without this program, so many things that I cannot learn. And when I can learn because of this, I change my perspective. The network should be sustained so that they can do more and put into practice what they have learned in their own context. I really hope that programs like Jairus will continue on. I think it's so important for the future of social discussions and frankly, people coming together and learning how to live in great diversity. To have the group from all these different countries come at once and from all the different perspectives was absolutely a unique experience for me. The group was very diverse, um, very knowledgeable, at the same time very curious to know more. And I think this um, group of, of participants, I have no doubt that they will act as um, leaders or future leaders of their um, societies and work together in order to prevent potential harm coming from far-right groups working to disunite people uh, within their country and also throughout, throughout the world. I love each and every person who were involved in this project and I really feel a strong bond and respect for everything that 
they're doing, their commitment and eagerness to learn and eagerness to engage, you know, in this big world and to make a difference. Now we already exchange and now we change and we're going to create more changes that we want to see. Thank you, Zerith, and thank you, EU, for supporting this. Oh, yeah.